The National Professional Fishing League 2025 schedule is, that's what we're going to talk about right now. There's supposed to be a pause there. If you like this kind of content, please click that like and subscribe button. Become part of the team and family. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to say it all the time. Actually, I'm probably going to say it forever because I'm humbled by all the people who comment and all the new subscribers and all the new members and everybody who's interactive on the channel. It's just a humbling experience, and I really do appreciate it. However, if you're not a subscriber, you should be. It's free. It's easy. All you got to do is make one click, and you make my day. So click that button and become part of the team. The National Professional Fishing League, or the league from here on out, has released their 2025 schedule. It's a partial schedule as is right now. They still have two tournaments left in the 2024 season. They have a tournament in the next few days, and then they have the Deltona DeLand tournament on the St. John's in December. If you don't remember, they made the biggest splash of all splashes. They cannonballed it. They didn't belly flop, they cannonballed it. They announced that they were prohibiting forward-facing sonar for the whole year in 2025. And they will host a lot of big names that are gonna move from BPT, from the Bass Masters, from the Opens, from the Invitationals. They're gonna host a bunch of new anglers that are big names that wanna compete at this level and for this amount of money. It's 100 grand to win. And the league takes into consideration the Bass Master schedule, which I disagree with. I agree with it because then some bass anglers can come over and fish the NPFL. But I don't think they should ever be taking a backseat to bass. Put your best foot forward and do it yourself. Don't rely on what they're going to do. If those anglers can't be in your tournament, then that's how it is. But I do understand. I can see both sides of the story. But for me, I wouldn't cater to what bass is doing. And over the last four years, well, this will be their fifth full season in 2025, the NPFL has had lots of ups and downs. Their schedule for the last couple of years hasn't been as exciting as one might want or one would hope they had. However, looking at this season, they've obviously put their best foot forward and have a really good schedule, really good places that they're going fishing too. And I'm very hopeful that we're going to see a lot of really big names join NPFL. I think their viewership will be probably a lot better. Now, having said that, I think they need to do something with the platform that they're using. This has nothing to do with announcers. Anyway, I think that the platform that they're using is just holding them back. And I hope that they are making a change to the platform so that it be, will be easier for anglers to commit to watching the tournaments. But that's probably a question we'll get answered much later. So where are they going in 2025? Well, March 6th through 8th, they're going to Santee Cooper in South Carolina. In May, the 22nd through the 24th, they'll be on Douglas Lake in Tennessee. In June, on the 18th through the 20th, they'll go to Lake Eufaula. Here's the one minor, there's two minor things. July 31st through August 2nd is to be announced. They're hoping to move, do something in the north, northeast-ish area of the country but they don't know exactly where they're going right now. September 25th through the 27th, they'll be at Logan Martin in Alabama. They'll have the uh, NPFL championship in the fourth quarter of 2025 in Lake, on Lake Hartwell in South Carolina. Now they, have, they usually have six tournaments a year. They will have a six tournaments in 2025. They're right now only have those four places, the to be announced and the Hartwell. They're gonna plug in one regular season tournament inside of those tournaments, either before March, all the way through the end of October. They'll add one extra season tournament that'll just fill in and make six tournaments plus the championship. Now we know five of the places, or four of the places that they're going, and then they're the championships on Lake Hartwell. I think this is really good for the league. I think this is probably one of their better schedules or places that they're going. I disagreed with some of the stuff in 2024. I really disagreed with it in 2023, but this seems to be a really great schedule that will keep things very competitive. 
And while I've been very critical about the MPFL, I think, like I said, this is a good schedule. I think they're doing things much different than they've ever done. This has been a very positive year. And then with the prohibiting forward-facing sonar, it's made a lot of fans very happy and willing to give the league a shot at watching. And that's really what's important. Getting those views will help them with sponsors and will help the anglers get their names out and become a brand. And that's really where I've always been very vocal about. You need to get give the anglers an opportunity to promote their sponsors and themselves. So what do you think of this schedule? Is it good, bad, is it indifferent? Are you gonna watch the MPFL in 2025? There's two more tournaments in 2024 for MPFL too. So you should be watching it, it starts next week. So check out their website, tnpfl.com, or maybe I'll do another video. But tell me what you think of the schedule and if you're watching next year. So. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to all the people who actually watch these and then also make sure they text me because if you're a member, I give you my phone number that they text me to make sure I was okay during the hurricane. I really do appreciate it. My family appreciates it. So thank you. Thank you again. So tight lines and cheers.